It is a sure sign that summer is in full swing. Fireflies lighting up the sky on a warm night, and it is possible that you've seen more of them lately. But why is that? So to talk more about this, we are joined by Julia Monarek, an entomologist with the Insectarium. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me. So let's start off by talking about what is a firefly and of course tell us how do they light up at night? Fireflies are little beetles about uh, two to four centimeters in length. They look like your typical beetle. They're a bit a bit you know sort of elongated but um, they, they, they look like your typical beetle. They light up because they have this chemical um, reaction that happens in the in their in their abdomen where luciferase and luciferin sort of melt together and say so they it, it lights them up but it doesn't heat them up and so that's what creates that light that you see in, in the night there seemed to be some concern from what I was reading online uh, in recent years for the future of fireflies uh, talk even about possible extinction is that legitimate in your opinion or are fireflies still present in large numbers well, this year seems to be a particularly good year for fireflies, especially because of the rains we've been having and they, they need to develop in wet habitats. But um, we, we we're having a hard time knowing whether it's it's um, it's it's a trend. It's a it's an upward trend or if the populations really are kind of very there's a lot of variation in the populations. Um, they have um, there in, in the past few years, there there's there seems some there's been some declines in, in the in the number of species and so it's 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 really kind of hopeful to see them this numerous this year but at the same time it's we have to be quite cautious about oh, what their presence because there's a lot of risks of, of, about them where um, light pollution um, herbicides pesticides actually um, can harm those po the populations of, of these beetles does climate change contribute to any of this whether or not they're you know very popular uh, very populous in a summer as opposed to not uh, in other summers. Is climate change a factor in all of this? Absolutely, there can always be a factor of, of climate change. I, I think, um, especially in the insect world, we, we don't have enough data to, to be able to um, really kind of determine how they're affected. Um, but huge variations in, in, in droughts or in, in huge variations in rain can actually have um, in big impacts on these beetles, um, I, I believe, and so so I think that that, that that could impact the populations. So beyond their beauty, there is, of course, benefits to fireflies. They are benef beneficial for gardens, right? Can you just uh, talk a little bit about that? Absolutely, they're um, they're predators as larvae, um, so they eat other insects in the in the leaf litter and the soil. So they could they they could be they're very beneficial in that way. Even as adults, they 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 are predators. Um, so they do eat um, they can eat mosquitoes that are flying around um, in your backyard uh, and other and other types of insects as well. So they are beneficial in our backyards and in, in the environment overall. Do they thrive in certain particular environments? And the reason why I ask that is for those who love spotting them and love seeing them, what are certain ways that uh, people can increase their chances? Yeah, you can find them a lot in um, humid habitats because they develop as, as larvae. They really kind of, they, they like um, wet, the, they, they, the females lay eggs in, in wet habitats. And so really the presence in wet habitats is, um, is, is where you can find most of them. So really kind of wet meadows um, big fields um, around lakes, um, so so the the, the you know, around the lake or even in parks and city parks as well. You can actually see them, um, especially when there's a lot of um, you know little bodies of water here and there. Excellent, Julia Monarek. Thank you so much for doing this today. Absolutely. Thanks for having me.